Seven tonight, a group of Valley businesses coming together, combining their resources to help in a big way. They're using technology and social media to make masks for healthcare workers. Carmen Blackwell reports. That's right. It's incredible to see local businesses and organizations really come together through these tough times to help to give back to the community and our health care workers while trying to fight the spread of COVID-19. What we're seeing here right now, uh, 3D printers creating face shields, mask guards for health care workers. Ben, tell us all about how these are being made and everything that's going into this process. You bet. So the beauty of what came together with the whole community is the idea that our healthcare workers need these shields, they need other types of protection equipment. So what they're doing is they're 3D printing here the top bands that go onto the face shield that will protect those workers when someone has a respiratory ailment. That band will get paired up later with someone else at a different facility volunteering their time to create those plastic face shields that go onto it and then eventually work Workers will attach elastic bands to the back. Once that all comes together, another team of volunteers will sterilize them and deliver them to hospital systems like Banner Health. Now, of course, we're only seeing one tiny piece of this big puzzle here. There's so many different people that are involved playing a huge role in this. Right now, we're at Van Hook Dental, yes. where these face masks and shields are being made. But it's going to be passed on to uh, an assembly line, call it, right? Yes. When we put the call out via social media, LinkedIn, Facebook, those yeah. types of things, everybody responded. We had all kinds of volunteers with these 3D printers, with carbon printers, with ability to cut or just the ability to sew. Groups like Fabric and the uh, Arizona Apparel Foundation have come together to start making masks. They got a grant from GoDaddy to get FDA trained on how to make them safely. So all these groups are putting their time and effort in in one common goal, protect our frontline workers yeah, right now. Walter Productions too. Even. Walter yeah, Productions yeah. in the hive over there, they're constantly helping to assemble these. So each day, this set of printers will produce over 200 of these. So a thousand a week are being delivered to the facility. Those are being turned into full face shields and then delivered directly to those healthcare workers. Of course, there is no timeline with this, but I assume you guys are going to continue to help and speed up the production of this for as long. The as goal is to continue until full production facilities or supplies can come back online. And the community response is just that, right? They'll keep going as long as they can. So. Ben, thank you so much. It's so incredible to be able to watch these businesses and entrepreneurs come together to really give back during a time like this and using technology and social media to do it.